So here's the Skyliner brochure, and if you love Trunk and Treats, well today, you're going to enjoy this. If you don't like Trunk and Treats, take that little bar at the bottom and skip forward to the rest of the car. Notice, this is saying, graceful hardtop when you need it, and in less than a minute, of course, you have a convertible. This shows the back of the car, the luggage space, that's showing with the top up. And this brochure here is the Buyer's Digest New Carfax. This is actually from 59, not for sale, but I'm taking you right to the Skyliner. And I'll let you read through that so you can pause there and see that. And there's what it's showing you the price is right there. Now this is great. This is the, from 1959, Ford Police Cars and Emergency Vehicles Best Law Enforcement Cars by far. Now I'm going to just go through this a little quicker just because it's not obviously the car we're looking at, but I just thought this was such a cool piece. The Custom 300 Sedans that you really like to see it. It shows the different emergency vehicles. You've heard of a paddy wagon. This must be a police party wagon because all the police are in the country sedan. The ranch wagon. And your Ford Fairlane sedans. Here's where they show the police interceptor, plus three other great high-performance engines. So let's start with our the featured engine here. There's all the details. And this is basically saying, we don't know who the bad guy is, but we feel like catching him or her. And then you have the 225 horsepower, your 200 horsepower, and your around patrolling and parking. So there's your, here's your specs. Dual exhaust, pretty cool. Pretty cool. This talks about your chassis. This talks about your strength of your inner Ford. This actually, there's one more page. It talks about some of your factory installed police equipment, your bumperettes, of course your siren. It talks about the seats, better battery, some suspension upgrades, your engine RPMs, the lifeguard design. Some optional equipment. And the last page starts to talk about some specifications. I'll give you the overall, looks like that. Here's your, I started to talk about your engines, clutch and transmissions.
Mark. So and we have our 59 car owner's manual. I won't go through all of this, but I'll give you some highlights. You can see how they have photographs. The instrument cluster. Signal seek radio. I'm going to go through these. These are different brochures. Three brochures came out. And something special, the cherry on the Sunday, I'll show you the dessert. You're in the wedding. How people test the double value. 59 for our people proportioned. And Dennis just does an amazing job finding the trunk and treats that come along with the car. By the way, while I'm flipping that, there's his color, surf blue, maybe that's a better color of it, over the Wedgwood blue. And these are the other colors that came with in that time frame. So if you're wondering, there's geranium, Sherwood Green, but all the 59 cool colors. I'll just show you, after people have tested the double value built for people, the 59 Ford coin, there's your station wagon. The 59 Ford beautifully proportioned car brings new purport, perf, proportions in performance. So here we're going to talk just the engines. The guy with the gas pump wondering if they're ever going to stop in with the 59 Ford. I'll let you, I'll go slow enough where you can pause that if you want to read that. And kind of take an overall look more power or you can use it. So here's your mileage maker 6. Your Thunderbird 292 V8. Your 332 special longer on power lean on gas. And your let's step it up to the 352 Special V8. And that's the big one. Oh, I apologize. The Thunderbird 430 Special V8. Mightiest of all. Oh, okay, there we go. Optional and Thunderbird cars only. Matter of fact, we featured Dennis's Thunderbird 430 convertible, 1960. You got to check that out. Just type in My Car Story with Lou, 1960 Thunderbird convertible, and you'll see his car. It's just tremendous. This shows all the engine details. Show you the overall the Ford Omatic. Thirteen. I'm gonna go just a little bit quicker because I want to show you the center section. There's your five great engines and transmissions the car with Thunderbird elements exciting new features
I'm going to show you the 59 wagon. Oh, Bill just got the new 59 wagon. Kind of interesting how they had the airplane up here. The gold metal. Your nine passenger car. I'm kind of take an overall brochure shot with the whole football team. The safety glass. Entirely new for 59. There's so many goodies here, I don't want to miss them for you. The four door country sedan. The country sedan. The four door ranch wagon. Your colors, which we just featured, so I'm going to go past that. Your diamond luster finish interior. This shows your but to see these brochures which of course I'm very careful with is just tremendous and the fact that Dennis has kept them it's such a treat to share them with you here's the exterior specifications and it talks about body width and length which is really kind of interesting In the last page here, some optional luggage rack. But here's your set of family. I've got the Galaxy Skyliner there, as you can see. And then the options now. That all said, now I want to show you these three brochures. I'm going to take each one of them on the front, and you can see this has this blue insert, but identical to this. And then this at the end <clears throat> came out completely different. And then you're invited to a wedding. Dennis, maybe you can help me. Yeah, I could sure. kind of start to yeah, open yeah. that one up. I'm going to show you these kind of one page at a time, just as I flip them open. So you can kind of get a feel for the different brochures, because some of the brochures, as you'll see, yeah, are going to look very similar. Yeah, I'd kind of explain this. Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay, you have, there's three printings. There's the first printing, which they didn't have, when they print, brought the 59 Ford out, they did not have the Galaxy at first. Okay. So what they did, now this would be... The first one. The first one, okay. If you look, this is the hard top, but when you get to the retractable, back here see where it says Fairlane 500 okay mm -hmm. there was no Galaxy then got it so Which is, this is your car this is my car the one right. I own right it's a very early car so then this is the second printing you won't see a retractable featured here because what they did and this is actually a Fairlane 500 booklet yeah I see that and it, it shows the cheaper miles the Fairlane you know, here's the here's the custom 300. Okay, the only way, way you'll see a retractable in this brochure is at the back. Okay, and there it is. What's it's a Galaxy. See it, the Galaxy oh, yeah. Sunliner and the convert uh, the retractable Skyliner. Wow. So then, when they brought the Galaxy out, like in January of, yes of 1959, mm -hmm. they had a wedding thing bro brochure. And it shows it, the new formal roof line. Because if you look at the other, here, let's do a comparison there. Let's go back to the two-door hardtop. 
There's your two-door hardtop Fairlane 500, and there's your two-door hardtop Galaxy 500. And what they want oh, to yeah. do, they want to formalize it to make it look like a Thunderbird. Got it. Yeah, you could see yeah. this post right. here versus no post right. there. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. But on and the retractable, the only difference is, is the script on the rear quarter panel. Yeah. And there's a little plaque on the dash in gold that says Galaxy. But the glove box door says Fairlane 500. Oh, is that right? They're all Fairlane 500s. Let's uh, continue to, and I'm just saying yeah. that yeah. as we go through this, this is, you can see some of the similarities. Mm -hmm. Let's open the wedding package okay. a little more. Here this, we go. This would have been sent to a, a customer, a Ford customer. Yeah. And you're invited to the wedding, which would be this. But inside, this is really cool. I found this at a swap meet. This is the most beautiful wedding of the year. Okay. And signed by Lee Iacocca. Lee Iacocca, yeah. which was the general manager, car market, marketing manager. And they opened then it, so. There's a centerfold. Wow. And there you go. And there's one more piece there's inside There's one more piece in here. This is, the, Show this me is that. a really neat piece. This is the wedding invitation, like if we're going to a wedding. So the fineness intact is pretty amazing. <laughs> it's so Isn't it cool? cool. That is so cool. All yeah. right, I'm going to let you fold this the wedding Yeah, I'm going to yeah. let you put that all just, back in I the just spot. love the artwork. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, it's great. Yeah. And but here's the two brochures. You can see they're identical. Then, then it shows the, gal you know, shows the Galaxy wow. interior, which is the same as a... Fairland into Fairland 500. Yeah. Okay. And then you've got the back and it shows the back. The, the formal roof line. We call it the formal roof line versus the rear hardtop. That is so cool. Yeah. The wedding invitation. I'm trying to let mm -hmm. people check that out. So you could see. Yeah. So this is a really nice piece of literature. To that is. Yes. Yeah. That's super cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you get one thing, I'm going to mention. Yeah, please. When you get back to the two door hardtop. Yeah. And this, you'll you'll remember this when I mention this to you. Will you probably, okay, there's the two door hardtop. Yeah. Fairly far. That Mercury you videoed, Mike's Mercury. Yeah. Or John's Mercury. Yeah. Has that same roof. Oh really? On that '57 Mercury. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Ford was smart. They could use parts from different parts, you know, save them a lot of money by using the same parts for other cars. Yeah, and on here you could see in this first brochure, yeah. they don't have anything listed. Right. Versus this brochure, mm -hmm. as you scroll through, right. which has very similar pictures, yeah. mm -hmm. then you see they've upgraded. They just this. changed the nameplate. That's all they did. That. Yeah. And then as you go to the back, mm -hmm. You can see we have this one actually in this brochure mm -hmm. too. This is in this brochure too. And the backs are the same. Which shows some of the features. Which we've actually seen in some of the other ones. Mm -hmm. And here's your actual dimensions. Yeah, the width and height and everything of the cars. Which is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Especially for something that big. And that's how you do trunk, trunk and treats.